Let's start with a clean environment and more than 60 residents in the Ayawasu North Municipality have been issued summons for failing to clean their immediate environs. Now this exercise is the pilot program of Operation Clean Your Frontage launched by President Okufado in 2021. I'm sure you recall that. The Chief Executive Officer of the Ayawasu North Municipality, Zakaria Mohammed, is leading a group of sanitation officers there. There's more in this report. So if he's a man, he shouldn't come. He should dare not come. It's not a party matter. It's about development. It's about the greater Accra. Let Accra uh, uh, work. So, I mean, what, what, what's, what's the problem with this place? Sorry? What's the problem with this place? Yeah, I think that the shop is, is owned by one MPP man. One MPP guy. And what's the problem with him? Yeah, he's dirty. So, it's part of his work. It's part of his frontage to clean it. Okay. Yeah, it must be his duty. Yes, so he has to clean it. It's not about MPP and DC here, no. At all. And where's the person? He's not in, but we'll look for him. Once we have said he's having notice. Uh, he notice. Yes, I think he has been given a notice. So he has to comply. Okay. And the notice is to what effect? What are they supposed to do? They're supposed to clean it. Yes, every, front, every drain in front of your house or store is part of what? Uh, your frontage. You have up to the middle of the road to, 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 to clean. From this side, up to the middle here. See? From that point to this side, it's the duty of the, the household or the store owner to clean it, including the drainage. And this side to this side, to, it's part of what? This place. They are supposed to clean it. So no one has no right to say, oh, I won't clean it. No. Whoever dares the law, the law will take its course. Yes, he must not dare the law. That because I'm A and B, so nobody's above the law, not even my, my good self. What's the worst that they could be facing if they fail to do it? Imprisonment. Yes, that's the worst. We have fines, uh, imprisonment, and the rest. So he's in trouble if he, he refuses to do it. And I will follow it to the latter. I'm going to follow it. Yeah, toilet. Meba. Toilet. You have to ask. What I say. So it's not me as a person now because every week, every two weeks, we are cleaning in front of me. Mobile money shop or her. Me cleaning or her. But here is the case. And I do need her. be on Indomi midnight. What I say. Midnight will be at the Indomi or the Aguha. A betum. You are drunk in your area. Of a bibi or the Batua. Obi Obi in Tompi water, but onu miso ne eda ha. I'm from a bit in the Atu Gotani. Me asema usi me cleaning me frontage. Me wo box you see ha. Ye onu pure water ye do tum. Every Thursday, every Oman my Oman my. That's my church in the mo. Material, material. Once a cut frontage out. Once from store now no no. Me ba. From store now no no. To the middle of the road. Halfway. Uh -huh. Halfway. You are responsible for everything here. Whether it's drain or not a drain. Once it is in front of your house, it's your duty. What I said. And they shouldn't have argued with them. Oh, but with a mom, mommy. So what's the message here? Now, what about office? Yeah, that's best. But you, as if you are fighting with them, no, it's not the rest. No, never do that again. You, you don't, you don't no, seem no, to be happy do about that the again. style that the AMA is using to, to I, query I, you. I like the, the, the attempt of trying to sanitize the area. That is the good way to move. But here is an area, it's a settlement, and everybody is in. So, no, law is law, yeah. So, I want, I want, I want them, us, us what we want is. They should give us some uh, this thing, rules and regulations that we use. So if I see somebody putting it, I will. Yes, yes. So, so they should let everybody put net, joint by joint. It is better for us. When you came, you said that they've called you and you were coming, so you didn't see the need for the uh, summons. Yeah, because it's impromptu. I didn't know anything. I learned that the minister said that. The, this year, there should be operation clean your frontage. We know the information, but we don't know the, the day it will come. But it's a good project. We like it. Thank your name? You. My name is Alaji Sani. 
Thank you. Material, okay. honorable material. Honorable. Yes. Honorable. Yes. So, like you can see from this particular operation here, uh, this is an open drain that lies just in front of the stores here, this stores lined up here. And they are expecting that as part of the operation Clean Your Frontage, the owners of this shop would actually clean this uh, open drain here. More people express displeasure with the modus operandi of the operation Clean Your Frontage. Well, some of them say that well, you cannot ask them to do clean areas like this that lies in the middle of the road where the quota have been used to cover it. Um, so, what, what, what are you suggesting? No, it's the simple things. This the, the day they come to lay this quota. We are telling these people that they usually, they usually seal the bath. Because every time when we are, uh, we are commuting the gutter, you, you used to remove this iron. Then we clear the gutter. They didn't listen to us. Now you block this thing. How can we remove this thing? How? How can we remove this thing? And the gutter, we are the one that taking the gutter. Even though we volunteer ourselves. Every three months, there's a club here. We call ourselves Little New York Club. We, every three months, we come up every gutter in this area. Even though recently we think about this road, this one, they have blocked this gutter. This gutter, they have blocked it. We want to come out this gutter and make the lane. And we need the MC the help. This gutter is too choked. The pressure here is too much. They should come and cut this gutter to join this lane. Because this lane is empty when there's a rain. We are trying to explain it for them, but they don't want to listen. They are giving us pressure. And this gutter, we are the one who is commenting every time. Even though this is my big brother. Every time. So you think it's not fair to... It's not fair to us. Because all the, all the rubbish will come from up there, come here. We are going to close the, store, the, the shop permanently. Not even temporarily. Permanently. And look at where you are. Look at it. You don't have that right to put a structure over a drain. It's not allowed. This is even beyond operation clear of frontage. This is a criminal offense. Yeah, so I've uh, called in the police. I've called in the police to come and arrest. And we'll close down the, the, the shop. He, he put this here, and then he's operating business on it. It's, it's not allowed by the law. So look at what he has done. This is a criminal offense. But does the law allow you to permanently close it down? We'll close it down till further uh, 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 decision is taken on, 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 on that. Yeah, we are closing the shop down. Yes, as a sort of punishment. The chief executive for the area is promising to bulldoze all these buildings here. He says that well, originally the plan is that a pavement will be there. But that doesn't seem to be the situation at the moment. Uh, that they've built their stalls on the pavement. And that flies in the face of the regulations for planning an area. So he's promising that he's going to bring the task force and remove all of these stalls that you see by this road. Uh, it's full, we have summoned the person, one called Baba Adamu, I think that is the uncle. And we asked them to send the car, car away. They should send the cars away from here. We do, they must not be here. The car must not be here at all. This is a pedestrian work week. Yes. You sit here, you, they do their things. We, we don't, we have ignored it. But to the extent of what, rearing cattle here, I think it's not the best. So we are taking action. So for now, because we are piloting, he has to move the cattle away. We will not prosecute for now. But if he fails, then we will prosecute. Yes. What about the drain? Yes, you're part of it. Come here, come here, come here, come So you have to clear the drain. Now, come back. Now, come back. KTC begins at home. Uh, we first started where I was born and bred in my house. Yes, there were food that were seemingly negligible. Uh, per the law, but I miss no words. My own blood brother, yes, I issued a uh, summons to him. So, meaning if my brother has not been spared, it means no one should be what spared. I use that to set example to others. Uh, the operation is going on successfully. Yes, uh, at the same time, it's creating awareness that Samasama of the old days is back, uh, is back with a bomb, with a big bang. Uh, Ketesi, Honorable, uh, I the hardworking regional minister. So far, uh, about 60 or plus people, uh, in only one section or one block of the 
municipality called Akwachiro have been summoned and they will appear before us at the assembly for, for cautioning any other uh, uh, remedies apart from what uh, prosecution. Yes. Then uh, on 1st February, they've seen the same signal that we will, will not spare anybody. The operation has come to say. So I hope and I believe they will comply. <laughs> So that's the situation from the Ayawa Sunno.